So in this last lecture, we're going to discuss about how beneficial it is to use the plugin scrollspy.js. This plugin, scrollspy, can be used on a navbar, and what it's going to do, basically, is to automatically update the nav target, so the nav links, based on the scroll's position. So we're going to look at this demonstration on this page in order to better explain the interest and the purpose of this plugin. Here we have a navbar with two links that are linking to two sections on the page. And we're going to see what happens as soon as we click on Add MDO. So that's going to send us right to the section Add MDO. We're going to scroll up and now we see that the MDO link has become active. Let's do the same now with the other link. It sent us to the Add Fat section. And by scrolling up again, we can see that this link for Add Fat has become active. So that's a smart way to improve the user experience by adding visual cues so the user would know in what position they are on the page by scrolling up and down the page. So back to our template, we're going to do the same demonstration. So we're going to click on Home to go back to the header, and then we're going to click on Gallery. However, nothing has changed, so the link for the Home remains active all along. So in order to upgrade to a better behavior for our navbar, we'll need to go to the documentation for Bootstrap again. And we need different steps in order to incorporate scroll spy. So first we need to have a data attribute inside the body tag. This will add the spy action on the body tag based on the page scroll. Then we have also a data target, which will be linked to the same class inside the div, which will be wrapping the nav elements. So here we see we have our unordered list for the nav, and we're going to wrap this uh, unordered list with another div with a class, with the same class that we're going to use as a target. Finally, we're going to use a function by using JavaScript, and we're going to use the function of scrollspy, which is going to be called by using the body tag. Then we're going to have the scrollspy function, inside of which you're going to include an object, which is target, the target which will correspond to the class that we've added to the div and also to the data attributes. So now we're going to put that in practice and copy this piece of code. We're going to go to our code editor and find the body tag inside our HTML document. And inside the body tag, you're going to add the same data attribute. Next, you're going to find the nav. What we're going to do is wrap this nav with a div with the class of navbar example. So we're simply going to copy this one from the Bootstrap site and then paste it on our document. And we're going to add the closing tag just under the closing tag of the nav. The last step will be to add the line of JavaScript. But by going back to the template, we're going to see that it's already available in the script that we have for all the plugins. And on line 375, we can find the script to call the function. Although in this example in our template, we've changed the name of the class. So we're going to copy this one from here. We're going to find the div which is wrapping the nav and we're going to replace the existing class with the new one. We're going to update also the data attributes, the data target inside the body tags. Finally, we're all set, so what's left to do now is to make a quick demonstration. So back to our page, we're going to reload, and we're going to see that when we go to another section, Home Now, so the active state will be updated based on the scroll position. Now we are going to the gallery, so the nav links for the gallery is active. And back to home.